is Ren Shujie. She is 42 years old and she previously owned a fabric shop in the Donghu Market in Yuhong District, Shenyang City, Liaoning Province. Ms. Ren weighs less than 88 pounds now. It is hard to imagine that only three years ago she weighed approximately 176 pounds and was completely healthy. Her name is Gao Rongrong. She had worked as an accountant at the Lushun Institute of Fine Arts in Xianyan City, Liaoning Province. Although in the picture her face is covered with scars, Ms. Gao used to have a fair and bright complexion. These two beautiful and healthy women became emaciated after enduring savage physical torture and mental torment at the hands of the Chinese government authorities for the sole reason they practiced Falun Gong and believed in truth, compassion, forbearance. These horrific crimes took place at the Longshan Forced Labor Camp, located in a valley at the foot of the Changbai Mountain, approximately 13 and a half miles southeast of Shenyang City. Ran Shujie was arrested and illegally sentenced to three years of forced labor. She was held at Division 2 at the Longshan Forced Labor Camp. Deputy Division Head Tang Yubao tried to reform Ms. Ren, depriving her of sleep for seven days and seven nights. Ran Shujie also witnessed the torture of other Falun Gong practitioners at the Longshan Forced Labor Camp. Aside from trying to brainwash Falun Gong practitioners, the perpetrators at the Longshan labor camp also forced them to do slave labor on a daily basis. The practitioners processed candles for export and worked from 7 a.m. until 10.30 p.m. Tai 
平均十点半左右才可以收工，中午可不可以休息？甚至你中午休息了，晚上劳动点更长，实质上都在我们身上走。更延长，那就不是十点半收工，头十二点收工不是，都是有的，就每天持续这样，不是一天两天就完事了，而且一直劳动强度这样。更何况，在时间短的情况下，吃不饱，也得照样放下快碗，出去站回去。没有任何自由，只有劳动，脑袋就是想劳动。On June 22, 2003, local police abducted Gao Rongrong, a former employee at Lushun Institute of Fine Arts in Shenyang City, while she was in front of her home. They took her to the Longshan Forced Labor Camp. Because she persisted in practicing Falun Gong and refused to reform, at 3 p.m. on May 7, 2004, Tang Yu Bao, the deputy head of Division 2 of the labor camp, Jiang Zhao Hua, the team leader, and others called her to the office and shocked her face with electric batons for seven hours, severely disfiguring her face. Not long before this incident, Tang Yubao and his accomplices tortured two practitioners, 52-year-old Wang Xiu Yuan and 39-year-old Wang Hong, until they were at the brink of death. They died several days after being released. After being shocked with electric batons for seven hours, Gao Rongrong jumped from the office window on the second floor in an escape attempt. The doctor diagnosed that she sustained two pelvic fractures, her left leg was severely fractured and her right heel was broken. The perpetrators from the Longshan forced labor camp sent her to the Shenyang Army General Hospital and later transferred her to Shenyang City Police Hospital. Ten days later, with repeated requests from Gao Rongrong's family, the perpetrators transferred her to Division 2 of the Orthopedics Department at Number 1 Hospital, affiliated with the China Medical University in Shenyang City. This photograph was taken at that time. 今天是二零零四年五月二十五号，我现在是重重伤，在沈阳第一个大学骨科二病房。现在门外有四个警察在看着我。On October 5, 2004, several Falun Gong practitioners successfully rescued Gao Rongrong, who was being closely monitored at the hospital. Luo Gan, head of the Central 610 office, personally arranged retaliation against the practitioners who were involved in the rescue. Under Luo Gan's orders, the Liaoning Province Politics and Law Committee, the 610 office, the Public Procuratorate, the police, and other departments used all their resources in tapping phone lines, identifying, monitoring, and following local Falun Dafa practitioners. Practitioner Sun Shi Yu, who participated in the rescue, was brutally tortured at Tie Shi Criminal Police Division in the Shenyang City Police Department. They shocked his private parts with electric batons, and they also inserted long sewing needles under his fingernails. Mr. Sun's mother-in-law, his wife, and his sister-in-law are also currently detained in the brainwashing class at Jiangxi Forced Labor Camp. On March 6, 2005, Gao Rongrong was again abducted. On June 16, an emaciated Gao Rongrong died in the emergency room at the number one hospital affiliated with China Medical University. After suffering two years of persecution, she had lost hearing in one ear and after her face was destroyed from seven hours of electric shock. According to statistics published on the Minghui Clear Wisdom website, Gao Rongrong is the 54th Falun Gong practitioner to have been tortured to death in Shenyang City, Liaoning Province. She recorded her final words in this videotape. Thank you.
这些做好人、心中善良，是没有这些善良的人，却没有一一点良知，很残酷的折磨、伤害。所以，我现在在这里，我希望我们获得自由，我希望。将你们一手牵起的这场对法轮功的阵营，能够得到全世界善良人们的重视。